Good day, YouTube. Jason here with Learn Survive. Sorry I haven't been real consistent here with uh, the videos the last couple weeks. Um, sometimes things happen that uh, just kind of eat away at the core of you and your very being, and you need to uh, take time and analyze the situation and and plan out your next move, uh, what you need to do, and that's the situation I uh, found myself in. Um, has nothing to do with uh, the topics I make videos about. So, um, yeah, I just needed to step away and and plan things out and figure out. Uh, how to go about it and what my best options were, but I've got that settled and I'm back now. As I was saying, um, I've been watching a lot of videos the last couple days, people going through their get home bags and their bug out bags, and some of these people have very elaborate bags, and they were showing the stuff they have and that they carry, and one thing came to mind that in 99% of the bags I did not see, and it's something that I carry in my own bags, and that I do recommend that people carry. And there's a simple uh, solution to this now. Um, the way I get mine might be a little iffy, if you can get it that way, but I live next door to a thrift shop that is owned by a nonprofit that helps take care of uh, mentally disabled adults. <clears throat> um, they have group homes for ones that cannot live alone, and they have apartments where the ones that can live alone but need some assistance once a week with grocery shopping putting their pills together and one of them little weekly uh trays that uh go you know uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday you know do stuff like that and the proceeds from the shop go back into it to keep these places running and and stuff like that and they really sell anything they get in on donations. Um, some of the items that I have not seen and most of the bug out bags that I think is very important. Soap. Um, these little soaps here, these selling in the thrift shop and bags. Um, some bags are strictly soap. Some are a mixture of different bathroom things that uh, people have brought back from hotels with them and then didn't want anymore and donated. Um, so here we got a little bottle of shampoo, little bottle of conditioner, uh, hand sanitizer. And uh, this bottom tray strictly little bottles of lotion um, if you're stuck for a day or two uh, outdoors you're going to realize that a little soap and water even if the water is out of a lake or something like that, this is going to be very handy. And in anything long term, hygiene uh, becomes an issue. And it's an issue that you are going to want to address because you're going to run into some pretty funky shit out there that you're going to want to wash off you. And different germs and viruses and different things you're going to come in contact with that you're going to want to wash off you as, as soon as possible. They don't take up a lot of room. You know, these items here don't take up a lot of room. They're cheap. If, you know, Goodwill don't do something like that, you know, you can buy uh, travel size bottles at Walmart and your local grocery store. Anywhere from a buck to two bucks. 
you know, I just got these because they were in a bag. One was uh, uh, a shampoo, a conditioner, a bar soap, and a lotion. It was 49 cents. Um, one was, I don't know, like three bars of soap and, you know, a uh, bottle of lotion, you know, was, you know, a buck or something like that it was uh, relatively cheap. A um, couple things I don't have that I'm going to have to go to the store and buy that I uh, recommend everybody carry a travel size bottle with them is uh, Gold Bond Powder. Good for the feet. Um, good for other regions of the body. Um, guys, you, you know what it's like uh, being out in the heat for a long period of time and uh, getting swamp ass. It's not enjoyable. Um, and another thing I think a lot of people forget about and put in their kits um, and they don't put in their kits that I think uh, you should have is uh, foot spray, whether it's Tenactin um, or other kind of uh, athlete's foot spray. Um, if you're going to be on your feet a lot and uh, you're wearing uh, boots or you're in a definite hot environment, um, something you're just going to want to keep down. You don't want athlete's feet, although it's nothing that's going to uh, do any serious harm for you. It does uh, become very uncomfortable. If you have ever had athlete's foot, you'll know what I'm talking about with the burning and the, uh, the burning and the itching of it. So, you know, those are just a few things that I have not seen in videos that uh, people have put up. And I think it's a good idea to have a bar of soap, you know, a little bottle of shampoo, little bottle of lotion and foot spray and gold bond powder as part of your get home bag, your bug out bag, what have you. Um, it's real cheap items, not going to cost you a lot of money. That could make a big difference. So um, I will talk to you all later. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. Have a good day.